guys, this is Una here from uok.com.au and uh, remember to subscribe to be the first one to receive the latest episode. Check out my uh, website with workshops, art and, and if you want to be on the podcast, uh, contact me. Today I have a friend of mine, Anita. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for inviting me on. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen each other for two years or something. A long time, a long yeah, time. A long time. So, um, my first question is, some people define themselves with, with work or job or whatever, but if you take out, out of that out of the question, so who is Anita then? Hmm, interesting question. Hmm. Um, Anita is a very um, modest person who thinks sometimes more of other people than herself. Um, very honest person and willing to help and support other people. Does that answer your question? Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Actually, um, you say in that is, that's how I know you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was willing to help and, uh, yeah, you take other people a little bit uh, over yourself. Don't you? Yes. Um, if I see someone that are going through something, I believe I can always either support them by listening to them or guiding them to someone I might believe who may be able to help them more. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, um, kind of a networker in a way. Yes. <laughs> How is it being, Anita? Um, are you asking from a uh, view as a business person or as a mother or as a wife or as just myself? Well, it can be all of this. Maybe we should just start with, start with you. With me. I'm trying to make a time just to be on my own, mm -hmm. to check my health out, to focus on my priority and my needs. Around my family's life, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, and how do you do that? I try to book a day that I can go to the movies on my own. Yeah. So with my children at school, I go to the movies mm. on my own. I like to sit at the back seat in the cinema and just watch a movie. And that gives me kind of peacefulness. I've started my day uh, with action movies. Or I might book myself to go to the beach mm. on my own, just um, take my shoes off and walk in the sand and a little bit of the water and grounding, uh, yourself. grounding myself and I feel a bit more relaxed mm. um, for that hour or half an hour or even if it's I'm in the area I'm like I'll just park the car quickly, mm. just walk down the beach or if it's a park take my shoes off and walk mm around the park um, on the grass, soft grass. Or How is your brain? How does your brain work? How does my brain work? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just too fuzzy. Uh, it's always thinking or giving me a, an idea what I could do and then I get excited but at the same time I'm trying to focus just to learn how to breathe. Yes. Because I'm too busy to focus to learn how to breathe. And if I am even eating, yes. I'm doing it in a hurry. Yes. Because with, there's a specific time I need to be at the house again. Do you like that? Do you feel it's... No, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was researching the other day something and they said you have to enjoy every bite mm -hmm. of your food. And I haven't actually thought about that. I'm just like, okay... Eat. We need to be out of the house in 20 minutes. Let's go, go, go. Yeah. So I am trying to remember that to chew and enjoy every bite of the food I'm having for that day and to be grateful I have that food. So why are you rushing so much? Where are you trying to get? I have a lot of kids' appointments to attend during school hours and also for work. Mm. Yeah, so... I try to do everything before 3 o'clock mm. uh, or sometimes I have to do after school activities as most people mm. do these days so it's always a rush. Yes, mm. I mean how do we find the balance? Well stop working. <laughs> stop, stop working. No, I just think we need to um, maybe look at a 
calendar yeah. and circle a day that will just be my day. Yeah. And then enjoy the whole day. Yeah. And then I'll be more focused. Yeah. For the next busy days. <laughs> that makes sense. So what do you do in your daily life? Like how is your life? What do I do? Yeah. Uh, well, I try to be the best version of myself, supporting my family. Hmm. And um, what drives Anita? What drives me? Yeah. Appointments. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. What drives me? I uh, just the passion to support my family members and uh, my friends circle as well. Yeah. I wake up every morning thinking, who can I help today? Ah, that's yeah. a good way to start the day. Mm. And also at night when I go to bed, I have a prayer of gratitude for my friends in my my neighbourhood, my world, my relatives. Everyone I could think of, I send in my thoughts and prayers, blessings for good health and love and gratitude. Mm. And I try to do that in the mornings as well. Mm. Most times I don't manage, but I catch up with it for the night ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what drives you is who can I help? Yes. Just like the other day I saw my neighbour, she was her daughter is one year old and I'm straight away, Can I cuddle her? Can I have her? You go do what you have to do. Mm. I'll be with her for, you know, ten, twenty minutes. Mm. Because I know as a mother you're trying to be everywhere and do everything and just having that little girl in my hands for twenty minutes was I felt that blessing and gratitude um, and thankfulness that my neighbour trusted me mm. to have her daughter in yeah. her hands yeah. and I felt the love of the child as well she was in a way thanking me oh thank you for taking care of me ah. mm. and for my niece as well I see her once a week she's nearly two just I'm grateful that I can sit with her and show her how to build blocks or we just cuddle on the couch and yeah. she's laughing and I'm tickling her yeah. Because um, I know those moments will go as she grows older. Mm. So I love the little kids because they don't complain back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm. So we have your art piece here. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. So for many, many years, I always wanted to live in a colonial house. Yes. Um, maybe I've been inspired by the American movies, uh, like in the Civil War, they're kind of monumental big two-story houses um, at the same time it's a twist like in the Australian style of um, old buildings as well so I like the veranda um, I didn't draw it very properly or finish it but I also like to have a lot of windows in my house um, so the sunshine and the brightness can go through and a classical red roof um, it's red is passion as well so supporting my family in a big house that everybody has their own space. Uh, I'm not a very big person for gardening as you can see just a few flowers there <laughs> but I love trees and uh, they're supposed to be different trees but they're kind of palm trees yeah. and of course um, a few birds so a few birds which means again it's a tropical environment. Um, the sun I love the sun I think it's bigger than half of these trees here uh, the river, I like to, um, I was living overseas in Croatia for many years and our house was maybe 200 metres away from the sea. Mm. So I miss that here, mm. living in Australia, to have the mm -hmm. sea close by. But lately I've been drawn to seeing and wandering around a river instead of the sea. The river has a different pattern of the, the waves and it keeps me more alert when I'm near a river. Except the ocean's too windy for me to yeah. go anymore on a beach, so I'd like to go near a river. Mm. And again, the grass, um, it's nice and soft. I didn't draw any fish there. <laughs> Do you like fish? Not really, but I, you usually see a little fish in a river or somewhere, mm. or a crab or something. But I've always wanted to live in a big house. Um, as I'm growing older, I want to be more into nature, mm. a house near the nature. Mm. Yes. Do you not worry about cleaning that big house? I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Might yeah. need to make it's downsizer now. <laughs> Draw a smaller one. <laughs> yes. yeah. 
So this is tropical. Do you have an idea where? I don't know. No. Yeah. What about I, I don't see your family or... I know, I'm not very good at drawing. I see. That's an empty house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't got them yet to see it. <laughs> it even have, it's missing curtains even. I know. Oh. <laughs> the new era will just reduce recycle, you know, less cleaning. <laughs> Apparently they say the more windows you have when you're drawing a house, the more open you are as a person as well. Yeah, well, I noticed when you were colouring it in, you had light colours because usually I, when I do my art, I used to do a lot of dark colours yeah. and it's probably where I come from, Iceland, yeah. dark so uh, it was pointed out to me that I should draw more or paint more what I, how I want my future to become. Yeah. And I want it to be more uh, brighter colors. And yeah. So th I noticed with your painting that um, they are lighter colors. Hmm. It's not dark, it's sunny. And the palm trees, even in the, the pastel colors and the house just being white, minimalistic and clean and just... Yes. Can you see your future like that? I can. Maybe not right now, maybe the next five to ten years. I mm. see that will be my next chapter in my life. Um, having a house that I actually have found is my house. Yeah. So for years I've been living in another person's house in my mum's house so that's the house she bought oh. with her, my father so that's their house but yeah. I haven't found my house yet oh, if you understand yeah. so I did see one similar passing the other day in Mount Lord I said, oh I love this house it looks cool mm. but mm, it's still not what I'm looking for yeah yes I'm not house sun hunting no. yet but you know when you can't go into a different area of Perth or elsewhere in this in the world you always find a little cute house and imagine it, would you live in it? But my question, answer was straight away, I wouldn't live in that house mm. that I saw. Yeah. But I have to say though, I'm, you don't have anything about business or anything that because I know you are a big business woman or networking woman mm. or you you have your also Bessemer awesome cookware. Yes, I do my Bessemer awesome cookware and I do my networking business, but I think I'm becoming exhausted with two businesses so I see myself this will be my this house on this picture will be my kind of oasis my time to retreat mm. to revamp my energy to become more focused I need to move away to then get my business strategy mm. sorted um, yes I didn't draw my family there but I don't actually think that that would help me because I'll be then running around cleaning mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it could, could be like a bigger scale villa that I've drawn here it's just myself time out for myself of my busy life and focusing what I want to do and then go back to the city and got all these ideas and yeah. put them into a system put them into plan and keep focusing on my love of businesses that I do as a cookware distributor and as a business networker maybe you could have a butler I could <laughs> <laughs> I could <laughs> yes you need to draw him. I know. Way. I was thinking, where should I put which side? <laughs> and yeah. uh, do you think you're on the way to get this, or how would you? And how would you do it? Until I saw you this morning, I never thought about this. To be honest, I just take my day. My, this is my schedule. I have to do, and I don't think about the next couple of years. But seeing you today and um, drawing this is giving me kind of a reality kick, like. Um, what can I do? So, to answer your question, I see it, but not right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe in the next couple of years, two, three years. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I still want to support my kids, be help them finish the schooling, and then I can focus on myself. Mm -hmm. But they say bigger kids, bigger problems, so we don't know. <laughs> hey, and there are a few birds there, <laughs> which represents my three children and my grandson. They all like talk to talk. <laughs> Do you worry it will be too late though? No. I'll be turning 47 next month and I think when I turn 50 I'll be not age older with a number but I think I'll be more ready to focus on this journey. 
because you know, like we just been talking this morning, anything could happen like yes. that. Yes. Yes, uh, that's true, and I think sometimes planning things is not a good thing. Yeah, because we overstress ourselves. Sometimes it's just good to take one yeah. thing at a time. Yeah, mm. yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So this drawing of yours, I don't want you to think about it or overstressing yeah. about it. Like you said, you just put it away, and we'll see what happens. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, Thank you for inviting me to come here and have fun. I was feeling like a little girl again back in school playing with crayons and filling out the leaves of green colour and the river blue colour. <laughs> so do you have any wisdom for people with, wisdom. that you like to share? Uh, be yourself and focus on what you believe can be done for yourself and your families or friends. I'd, my legacy was always for my children is to keep supporting people, helping them. And I think that would be a good idea to share this message if you know somebody you can help do that. So what's next for Anita? What's next? Uh, well, two more months to go to the end of the year. I have been reflecting what a year it has been. And I have some new goals um, for next year with my networking business. And um, I'm trying to figure it out what will be the best thing that I can do with a specific theme that would assist the people here in Perth. But my events will be on a different scale compared to the traditional ones. Mm -hmm. I will I have a passion for children with disability because my son has intellectual disability. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to get some events organised specifically for parents who struggle on a daily basis with people or members in the family that have some kind of disability. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know a few people who would be lovely, who would be looking forward to just wait for my call and say, let's do this. My other passion is um, children who don't have um, money to, or parents who don't have money to buy a uniform for their kids. So there is a company called um, the, S the Smith, I think they're called, mm -hmm. and they help um, promote the word out there, support a child. Uh, do a monthly payment or whatever amount you can afford to help someone get schooling. Mm. So my passion is schooling um, children with disabilities. My events will probably be based on that. And then occasionally I'll flip in again a business traditional networking event. But business is not my thing. No? No. No. Well, you've been in it for so long. I know, and that's what I realise now until I'm turning now soon 48. It's I can help people in different ways, not just a traditional business networking. I can guide them where to go, to the next level. Either it could be mindfulness, wellness, health, well-being. My events will probably be going down that way. But isn't that business? It is. It is. <laughs> but it's not the traditional like bank, real estate owner, no, no. Um, finance person. Uh, it's not like oh, I work in the bank and I work in this or I'm a settlement agent. Um, people already know that kind of people. Mm -hmm. But to help them explore their mindset as well and to feel into a tribe of wellness, that would be my probably next direction. Yeah, I had a lady last podcast. She was saying that um, she's not so worried about the world, but she's worried about people and they are not connecting. They're getting more and more disconnected with each other yeah. and to help the world or whatever we need to connect and we need to connect right now yes that's what I believe social media is good for in some ways it's um, the message will be quickly spread through social media but at the same time I'm trying to um, but it's not like when we are together like we yes. now we are connecting yeah. yes through but social media, media is not the same. That's true. The social media only helps us to be informed of what our friends, mutual friends or friends ourselves, are doing. But I prefer to catch up with them offline mm. to see, hey, how are you? What are you doing? What's your plan? How can we support each other? Mm -hmm. And um, and I actually do encourage my friends to come and see me, mm -hmm. not just let's do it and we like for us too we've been playing this for months and always something comes along but yeah. I think when we go back to the olden days like 20 years ago 30 years ago 
the community was much more favorable for people and uh, they were all socialized that create some kind of networking but dancing events in the community or school fights or uh, even a football team or soccer team or swimming pool event for people used to be more connected through their children mm -hmm. events in smaller places and I believe that's what is not happening anymore people are just too busy um, I don't carry a watch but my mobile is my watch so mm. I know where I have to go but at the same time I, a lot of people I see are turning on to time their routine into a calendar online like with Google mm -hmm. I'm a traditional person I like to have my diary I write it with my pen where am I today mm -hmm. so um, people laugh at me oh you know that's old fashioned I said yes it is but it works for me for, for me digitally I, I can't cope <laughs> <laughs> on a calendar where I am <laughs> yeah well I went, when I was uh, writing my book I, I used it just do it on a pen and paper like yeah I did announce a couple of years ago I'm going to write a book. Yeah. So I only wrote, wrote two chapters. Oh, okay. And uh, it was going to be about my story as we arrived from war-torn Croatia to live here with my husband and my mum, my sister, my, then my two daughters. I didn't have Dario. And um, so I managed to write, type up on the computer chapter one. Yeah. And I didn't feel it. It was my story. Then I took a pen and paper and I just wrote and wrote and wrote. So that was my chapter two. But with pen, I had more inspiration with the pen and paper yes. than just punching away on the um, computer. What's it called? Laptop. Uh, uh, keyboard. <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, I feel it's more beneficial. Um, the community. The community is important for me, but also some old traditional values to keep them. Yeah, because we are getting so disconnected with everyone and everything. Yes. I can see that with my own children, like they spend a lot of time on their phones and mm -hmm. things like that. Well, my son, he hasn't got um, a phone, mm -hmm. but he has his um, iPad. I only allow him during the weekend or like Friday evening from, I don't know, 6 to 8. Then he can have it during Saturday and Sunday as much as he likes. But on Monday, when school starts, till Friday afternoon, he doesn't have the iPad. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you there is a difference. He's not that nervous. Yes. He's not that um, demanding. He, If he had the iPad, he would start shouting and delaying his time to respond to me like he's yes. too busy. Yes. Um, but I also try to keep occupied and enrolled in karate classes, for which is discipline, confidence, physical strength. When he does that karate class, he's very calm afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's a mindset as well. With the computer games, he's just drilled into it, yeah. brainwashed, and yeah. then he sometimes would wake up at night time screaming, oh, I know, I, did, I lost this battle. Yeah. That's how it can impact our children's brain. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see also... Um, with one of my daughters, she wants to have a rest. She feels that she doesn't get enough rest or something. And then I was to say to her, well, then you need to skip your phone too. Because being on your phone is not a rest. Even though you're watching a movie or whatever, it's not resting your mind. So you need to take a time out of the... Yeah social media or, or f uh, just your phone to be able, if you need rest, if your brain needs rest. Yes, and it's also radiation from everything, yeah, the yeah, phone, the computer, yeah, the laptop. Yeah. If you use it too much, uh, too many hours in your day, your eyes could also be affected as well. So yeah. the eyesight, you're physically, uh, in a way, brainwashed with everything you see on social media. There's no logical way that you can actually step back and think, okay, well, I think this is reasonable, but I think it's not. Everyone's following the crowd. We're like followers. Sheep. We're all sheep mm. following someone who we see is there influential. But no one understands for someone to be become influential is many, many sleepless hours Yeah, yeah to be known for their work. But going back to the mindset, I still think uh, if if we can mi minimize our time on social media, yeah, we'll be much. We'll have a clearer brain. We can think what we're doing, 
Um, the other day I was a bit on YouTube watching this funny show in Croatian language. After 20 minutes, my feet were already cramping at the computer desk. Mm. So I'm not doing a favour for my feet either. So I have to then walk around, have a glass of water or magnesium, do, do some stretching. Do some stretching. That's what I do. Then I was thinking, why am I doing this? You yeah. know, just because I'm watching a show. Yeah. So, um, so I just try to go outside or jump on the trampoline with my son yeah. to get a bit active because we have become isolated. Yeah. And uh, until five, six years ago, when my eldest was living with us, we would go to Video Easy, we'd pick a movie, all five of us would sit in the uh, living room or uh, sitting room, uh, we'd have popcorn made, tea, coffee, whatever, and we'd all sit and watch a movie together. Yeah. Now everyone no, sits in, no. in different corners. Exactly. My husband's outside enjoying his cigarette and watching on his phone a show. My son's on his iPad, my daughter's on her iPad. Uh, I'm on the computer desk watching a mm. Croatian show, a different one. So we're all kind of in the household, but yeah. no one is connecting. Mm -hmm. The only thing that could happen, if the Wi-Fi is low or suddenly disappears, that's the only time you'll see everyone coming inside the house. <laughs> Is there any Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, no, we're going to miss out on our show. And that's when I actually start laughing. And I, I'm tempted to sometimes just switch off the modem for a minute or two just to see yeah. where they all come rushing out of their rooms. How quick are they coming? <laughs> They're very quick. Yeah. But when I ask, can you do this or do the dishwasher? Oh, yeah, yeah, that can wait. But Wi-Fi cannot wait. It's an <laughs> emergency. <laughs> yes. So, Anita... Thank you for coming here today and um, because we've been talking about this, connecting and all of that, uh, not through so, so much social media, so we recommend that people come to your networking, isn't it? Yes, that would be amazing to meet people sharing their values and beliefs and supporting the community either here in Perth or worldwide where mm. our podcast will go. Uh, but it's also good to be connected to your friends that you've met and stay in touch with them and at least, hi, how are you going on a phone call or a message? Um, there are a lot of people out there going through a lot of circumstances, um, either chosen or not chosen. They need that support yeah. and we need to be mindful and think how would we feel mm. if no one would say hello to us. We'd be devastated and we would feel isolated and alone. So. My message is if you can um, every day greet a person in your neighborhood mm. or in the shop and just say hello and smile because people don't even say hello anymore. Mm. Do you want to tell us where we can reach your networking to connect yeah. in person with a person? Yes, I haven't got the next event set up yet. Um, I'm not sure yet will it be uh, coffee networking breakfast one in the morning or it might be a lunch one on facebook anita anita bobanak it's b-o-b-a-n-a-c i haven't had the time to launch my facebook page but my business networking company is called new business connections okay but i still do best in the so they can reach me out on messenger all through you. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thanks. Thank you. I really enjoyed our chat. My first time on a podcast, so yeah. it's interesting. <laughs> thank you. I really enjoyed this, and we should meet up more again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is Una from uok.com.au. Subscribe to be the first one to receive the latest episode. Check out my uh, website with workshops, art, and and if you want to.